Today in this video, we are going to learn about the wiring of auto changeover switch. We will do the wiring of auto changeover switch in the way that when main power supply fails, changeover takes place by auto changeover switch. Similarly, when power supply gets back to normal, again changeover takes place by auto changeover switch. How this changeover takes place by ATS and how we will do the wiring, we will learn through this video. So friends, let's start the video. If in your home, office or in your company, two different types of power supply is used. Among the two, one is your main power supply and another power supply used is supplied by generator, UPS, inverter or solar panel. Suppose for now, power is supplied to your homes through main power supply. If this main power supply somehow failed, then in this condition, another power supply need to be used. Means you have to turn on this one. Right now I am using this MCB so changeover is taking place manually. But if you want this changeover to take place automatically then you have to use this auto changeover switch. This device at which you are looking is known as auto changeover switch or ATS. This auto changeover switch I have now is manufactured by CNC company and you can see the model number here. This auto changeover switch I have now works only for single phase. The wiring of three phase auto changeover switch is same as this one. Only difference is three phase wiring will be done in that case and single phase wiring will be done in this auto changeover switch. For wiring, you will find eight terminals in total. Four are here and four on this side. So total eight terminals are there for power wiring and after that, if you want to connect indication lamp, then this control terminal will be used. For now, I am leaving the connection of indication lamp. We will only focus on power terminal connection so that automatic changeover will take place. So right now I have these two MCBs. This MCB is for main incoming power supply and this one is for second incoming power supply. I provided incoming power supply to both the MCBs. The wiring of output supply needs to be performed. In this changeover switch here N is written and here R is written. Where N is written it means normal power supply needs to be connected here and where R is written it means second source power supply will be connected here. In this normal power supply, connect the wire at the point where we receive phase supply. Connect other end of the wire at the point where A is written. With neutral terminal of normal power supply, connect the black wire for neutral power supply. Other end of the wire is to be connected where N is written. This means we provided neutral power supply to this auto changeover switch. Now we have to provide another power supply to auto changeover switch. For this, in our MCB, where we get neutral power supply, connect a wire at that point and other end of the wire is to be connected where N is written. Similarly, we will connect a wire at another terminal, other end of the wire is to be connected where A is written in auto changeover switch. These four terminals of ATS are output terminals. In this output terminals, you can see at two places A is written and at two places N is written. What you have to do is, at the places where A is written, short these terminals. Means you have to loop these terminals by connecting a wire. Similarly, you have to loop the terminals where N is written. For explaining you the working of this ATS, right now I am connecting a lamp. Both the phase and neutral wire of the lamp is to be connected with both the wires connected here. Means you are providing phase and neutral supply to lamp through these output terminals. The wiring of the auto changeover switch is now completed. You can see here on auto changeover switch auto and manual is written and also a switch is given. When you select the switch in manual position and on turning on this MCB you can see lamp is turned on. Turning on main power supply turned on this lamp. For now changeover switch is selected with main power supply. If I rotate this switch then lamp will be off and on again rotating on the same side through this MCB, power will be supplied to our load. This MCB is off, so lamp is in off condition. When I turn on this MCB, you can see lamp turned on. This means when you want to manually make this changeover, then you have to keep this switch in manual mode. But if you want this changeover to take place automatically by this changeover switch, then in this condition, select this selector switch on auto position. Now, if I fail this main power supply, then this auto changeover switch will make the changeover. You just saw changeover took place. We will see one more time. This changeover switch will switch the position to this side when I turn on the MCB. You can see how automatically changeover is taking place. 
आई होप यू लाइक दिस वीडियो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो